Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very, very interesting question from Radical Maths. We have to evaluate 625x power 7. Given equation is root 5 over 5x equal to root 2 plus root 3 plus root 4 plus root 6 over root 2 plus root 3 plus root 1 plus root. So let's get started by considering our expression equal to e first. So let me write here e. Now I will begin with our given equation. So I can write root 5 over this 5 can be written as root 5 times root 5 x equal to here I will rearrange the terms root 4 plus root 2 plus root 6 plus root 3 divided by root 3 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus 1. Now I can cancel root 5 with root 5. So LHS will be 1 over root 5 times x. Now from first two terms I can take root 2 common. From these two I can take root 3 common. Let us take. So root 2 is common out then I will be writing root 2 plus 1. Root 3 is common out then I will be writing in the bracket root 2 plus 1 once again. Denominator is root 3 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus 1. Now root 2 plus 1, root 2 plus 1. I will take overall common. So root 2 plus 1. In second bracket it would be root 2 plus root 3. Or root 3 plus root. Divided by root 3 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus 1. LHS is 1 over root 5 times x. Now I will flip numerator and denominator to collect the value of root 5 times x. So I will be writing here root 5 times x. Now I will write root 3 plus root 2 plus root 2 plus 1 divided by root 3 plus root 2 times root 2 plus 1. Now I will split our numerator with respect to these two brackets. So I can write root 3 plus root 2 divided by root 3 plus root 2 times root 2 plus 1. Here I will be writing root 2 plus 1. In denominator it is root 3 plus root 2 times root 2 plus 1. Now we can cancel these two brackets here and these two brackets here. So it is left root 2 plus 1. In numerator it is 1 plus in denominator it is left root 3 plus root 2 here. Now I will use rationalization with respect to denominator. So root 2 minus 1 I will multiply here in the numerator and denominator. And here I will be multiplying root 3 minus root 2 in the numerator and denominator. Now you can see a plus b a minus b a plus b a minus b so let us apply difference of two squares formula so this will give us root 2 minus 1 over root 2 square minus 1 square plus root 3 minus root 2 divided by root 3 square minus root 2 square now you can see square and square root will be over so denominator is 2 minus 1, 3 minus 2. Both denominators will be 1 only. And left hand side is root 5 times x. So what is left in RHS? It is root 2 minus 1 plus root 3 minus root. Let's write root 2 minus 1 plus root 3 minus root 2. 
Now plus root 2 and minus root 2 will be over. So root 5x, it will be equal to root 3 minus 1. Or we can write x is equal to root 3 minus 1 divided by root 5. Now I will consider this equation and I will consider squaring both sides. So let me write root 5 times x whole square equal to root 3 minus 1 whole square. Now root 5 square is 5, x square is x square equal to a minus b whole square formula. So root 3 square 3, 1 square 1 minus 2 root 3. So I can write 5x square will be equal to 4 minus 2 root 3. Now I will consider squaring once again to get the x power 4 value. So let me consider whole square once again. 5x square is equal to 4 minus 2 root 3. 4 minus 2 root 3. So squaring once again, I will be writing power 2. Power 2. So 5 square is 25 x power 4 equal to a square 4 square 16 plus b square 12 and then minus 16 root 3 minus 2 a b. Now I can write 28 minus 16 square root 3 and left hand side is 25 x power 4. Let me call this is our equation number 1. Now we need only x cube. So how we will get that? Using this equation root 5x, this will be equal to root 3 minus 1. Let's consider cubing both sides. So I will write power 3. I will write power 3. So root 5 cube, 5 root 5 times x cube equal to a minus b whole cube. So a cube, let me write 3 root 3, b cube, so minus 1, minus 3a square b. So I will write 3 times root 3 square, b is 1, plus 3ab square. So b square will be 1 square. So if I will simplify 3 root 3 minus 1, minus 9, plus 3 root 3. So it will come out 6 root 3 minus 10. And left hand side is 5 root 5 x cube. Now if you will see this equation, let me call this is our equation number 2. If I will multiply these two equations, then I will be having x power 7 ready. So let's multiply first. So I will be writing here. 1 into 2. Let me write here 25 x power 4 times 5 square root 5 x cube. LHS is over. Now RHS 28 minus 16 root 3. In second bracket I will be writing 6 root 3 minus 10. So left hand side if I will write then it is 125 root 5 x power 7 RHS 28 times 6 root 3 it is 168 root 3 28 times minus 10 minus 280 then minus 288 and then plus 160 root 3. Now if I will simplify further, I will write 328 root 3 minus 568 and left hand side is 125 root 5 x power 7. Now I will divide both sides by 125 root 5. So x power 7 will be 328 root 3 minus 568 divided by 
125 root 5. So we can write this is my answer or I can rationalize further how it will be. I will multiply our denominator by root 5 and I will multiply here also with root 5. So this value will be 5, 125 times 5. So this will give us 625. So let me write here 625 in the denominator. So I will write x power 7 equal to denominator is 625 and numerator will be let me write here root 5 times in bracket 328 root 3 minus 568. So this we can write as our answer once we will take 625 to the LHS. So let me write our expression. 625 x power 7 this value will be equal to root 5 times 328 root 3 minus 568 or we can write e equal to 328 root 15 minus 568 root 5. This is our final answer as per our expression. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.